What's going on? Another unboxing. I hadn't done one of these in a while. This is a big lot. Actually, it's a couple lots. Uh, just got the combined shipping uh, online auction. Uh, get these from various sources, but this one we're going to open up and see what we got. I spent two hundred and thirty dollars on this beast. I'm, I kind of know what it is, what's in here, but there was one picture where I saw something special. So hopefully. Hopefully, this, uh, I don't think very much of this is vintage. This is all like newer. I think there's some point and shoots and stuff in here. And a bunch of dust from cardboard. <laughs> I'll recycle that. Uh, it looks like there might be something vintage in here. If you don't know, I buy and resell stuff. Okay, here's some point and shoots. These old point and shoots, this is a. Uh, Olympus 3.3 megapixels. Looks like it, did, it is. Got some battery corrosion. Doesn't look too bad. I might be able to clean it up a little bit. This is the uh, Smart Media, and it doesn't have a Smart Media and card in there. But this is only worth probably uh, under twenty dollars, between fifteen and twenty. Probably put it on there if I could get it to work. What else we got? Another point shoot. We've got the PowerShot S3 by Canon, a six megapixel camera. And this is a uh, called bridge camera because it's got you've got manual mode of TV and a AV mode instead of just auto and scene modes. So this is kind of in between if you're wanting to go up there to the uh, oh look how tiny that is. If you're wanting to, to uh, kind of work your way up to a, a DSLR or a mirrorless system, this is kind of the the uh, camera that you would buy just to kind of mess around with those modes that are on those type of cameras. Battery compartment looks clean. And uh, let's see here. No SD card in there. This is 6 megapixel, so it probably uses first generation. What was that? have that that's weird it has like like it's a DSLR so we could take it off I don't know what that's for let's figure that out but anyway uh, six, six megapixels so it uses the first generation SD card so when I sell this I always mention that uh, I'm looking at here probably uh, probably $25 maybe a little bit more on this one so uh, so far I haven't got doing okay I guess since there's a lot of items in here this is a, a AF 160 flash it's worth like 15 bucks if it's, it's cool it's got the original box but it's all taped up and uh, let's see it feels like there's yeah a couple corroded batteries in there yummy I'll take those out there and try to clean it up see if I can get to work and like I said it's only worth like 15 dollars I think I have a manual, so I might be able to throw a manual in there and get a couple, a couple, few extra dollars for it. But, uh, we've got a, I've just sold one of these. Is this the same one? No. This one's a different one. I just sold a P80 for $38. Uh, this one's uh, more megapixels. Than, this is uh, 12.1 megapixels. It's got some uh, stereo mic going on. This is the L. 110. I think I've sold these before. Let's see what we got here going on. No battery corrosion. No SD card. I like it when I find Olympus when they when they have that XD XD card. I, of course, I have to test all these, but uh, no battery corrosion. This is an old. Kodak, which is um, uh, the easy share. These actually sell fairly decent, but you're not going to get any like huge money out of there. So uh, thus far, you're, you're seeing what I'm I've got here. I, even though I spent two hundred thirty dollars, I've got a bunch of twenty and thirty dollar items, and that's kind of what I specialize in. And I, that's why I, I love like testing all these out, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we got a. I just sold one of these. Uh, the SX. 130 another bridge camera as you can see here it's got the manual and AV TV modes 
I think I, I'd sell these for around forty dollars. If yeah, battery compartment looks clean. So this this one's probably working. It looks like we got a problem right here. I, I'll sell this stuff on eBay. So I'll leave a link to my eBay store below. Uh, so I'll have to test this test this out and see if this uh, opens and closes there on that. If not, I, I, if it's partially working, I'll leave that in the, the long description in eBay. If you're using uh, like a cellular phone, you, it's the little uh, link or button to press on to see the long description is kind of hidden. This is junk. Handy Max is garbage for the most part. Anyway, it's a flash, so I'll just throw that in a huge lot. What we got here? Oh, 75 or 300. This one's worth about oh, about 80 bucks. I'll test it out, but it looks in fairly good condition. Actually, I have a uh, Canon 6D Mark II, and this is a full frame lens, so I don't know. I might keep this. I only have two lenses for that, so. It is actually a pretty good lens. That was one of my first YouTube videos was comparing this 75 to 300 compared to the 50 to 250 or 255 uh, image stabilized, stabilized lens. Uh, but this one performs really well. All right. Uh, so, yeah, 80 bucks. So, yeah, we're getting up there. With all those, I think we're well over the $100 mark. If I get all those sold. And they're all working. Oh, actually, oh, this reminds me right here. Check this out. And this goes along with my theme that I'm going to start doing. It's been a uh, rain. What the? I've got some sort of adapter on here. All right, take that off there. Uh, few bucks. But we've got the uh, Tacumar uh, 200 F, F uh, 5.6, and you've got the aperture up here. This is what you call a. Uh, A preset lens, so as you can see there, they call it preset. Uh, it's a clickless aperture. You just kind of adjust it up here of where you want to um, limit it down to. So if you limit it down to like f5.6, notice it doesn't go further than that. Well, maybe it does. Oh well, my thumb hit that. But that's that's kind of the limiter, and then that. But uh, I, speaking of that, uh, this is M42 mount. And I'm going to do M4 2 mount Mondays coming up. So I will be connecting this via adapter to my Pentax KF uh, and trying out some M4 2 mount things. So this will fall into what that's all about. But this, uh, this lens is probably worth about $40. Let me see the case. I could probably get well, the tops off of it. Uh, yeah, if I could find the top and, and put it back on there that's in here uh, but yeah this one's worth about 40 40 to 50 dollars uh, it is clear I, I held it up well yeah it's, it's, it's clear if I look through it there so this will be coming up in a review as well probably so check that out what else we got in here I thought there wasn't any uh, vintage stuff in there so yeah we're, we're really close to the $200 mark so I've said $230 for this whole lot this is an old camcorder battery. I'll charge it up and see if it works because I do sell camcorders as well. Sony camcorders sell pretty well, but you just gotta make sure they work. And this is this is the specialty item, and I have no idea what this is. Uh, I saw this, and I just saw. Looks like it goes on a digital still camera. Interesting. Open. Oh, awesome! I've seen I've seen a review on these. I think uh, I think Snappy just did a review on these. It, it's all this is the camera right here. You've got a you've got a yeah Sony N mount. Oh man, I've been wanting to try these. I just thought it was a lens. All I could see in the background uh, when I would bid on this a uh, particular lot, I saw the Carl Zeiss, so I thought it was a lens. And like the the cheapest ones on uh, for resale, you know, people were buying were like uh like four hundred dollars so i don't know how much this sells for but i'm actually psyched about this because i've been it's all inclusive like it's, it's the cameras are like all here 
I think that's what that is. Micro SD card. Very exciting. This is the QX100 Direct XJ. Yeah. It has a. But it does look like it can mount on a camera as well. But you know, you've got that. Wi Fi. This will be fun to play around with. We've got that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll need to learn more about this, but I'm down. <laughs> it's got a charging cable and another uh, Sony N mount. Man, I'm wanting to try that out now. There's a close-up of it again. Cybershot QX100. Yep, we'll have to... Uh, there's videos out there on that. I'll have to test that out. I mean, that's cool. All right, we got a uh, Sigma, maybe a Sigma, or just a Sigma cap. No, it's a Shinar. It's a 28 to 280. Hey, another M42 mount that, uh, that the aperture doesn't work on. Well, that's all right. That's cool. Uh, so a lens, I might just adapt this and sell it and let them know that the aperture isn't working. It's like stuck and we got a pentax mount uh k mount we've got the vivitar 135 f 2.8 and we've got another lens that doesn't have a that's stuck wide open that's all right it's clear and people still like this because a lot of people just like to shoot wide open all the time so uh, somebody will buy that. I'll just uh, probably adapt it for like a, a Sony M mount. Just tend to... Or not Sony, a Canon M mount that tend to sell well. And we've got a fantastic focus brush to clean off lenses. And... Oh, cool. Hadn't used one of these in a while. This used to be my favorite favorite way to uh the wrist strap to hold a camera i used to not use the neck strap but the, this you know you put the camera on here so this will come in handy i haven't had one of these in a while i'm sure i'll use that even though it's like a five dollar hong kong special and we've got a lens cap for a nikon hp uh 23 might sell that. I don't know. I'll look that up. It might be, since it's kind of wide angle like that, it might be like a $20 lens cap if somebody broke theirs. Uh, Asahi uh, lens cap. Let's get, let's get going right here. What else we got? Ooh, we've got a uh, cannon flash. Hopefully the batteries aren't bad in that. I think this is the, one of the original flashes. I, I'm not the flash guy, but this is the one I had back in the day, I think. If I can get it open without breaking it. Yeah, it looks it looks clean. I'm not sure what these go go for. No, nah, this is this is more film. I think I had a four four hundred and something. This is more I'll have to look it up, the specs on this. I don't know what this goes for. I'm gonna guess like thirty thirty dollars on that one. Uh a corn ray flash not worth but a couple of dollars and it looks clean oh crap. uh now a special tip if, if if these are all corroded out you just get some like automotive sandpaper and like kind of get all that clean it up and get all that corrosion off there with that and sometimes it will end up working we've got another pentax lens here the m42 mount tacumar special what we got 200 f4 so i am like getting up a, a hole and it's got it now i thought it was going to be out let's see if this thing is clear ladies and gentlemen we have fungus but let's see it's on that last element there's a little bit on the inside uh, tip you could put this outside to, to kind of kill any extra uh, put it out in the sun to kill any extra uh, fungus growth but I'm pretty well let's see how hard that would be to 
it might be on the outside of that element but there's only a couple little fungus strands on the on the middle of it so we may be good i don't know let's check it out let's see if the aperture is working aperture is working there so do some little exploratory on this thing and this might be in an upcoming video on my kf as well on as like i said m42 mondays nikon cap Oh, uh, I should say, well, since it has a fungus in there, I'd, I'd still probably get $30 with that. I could take some, uh, probably more than that. But I, I could take some test samples and just show them in, in my eBay listing. Show that, that uh, if I get all that cleaned up, hopefully it's not affecting image quality, which I don't think it would if I get it cleaned up. But just by looking at it real quick. Oh, what we got here? Uh... Fine picks by Fuji, a 3.2 millimeter, 3.2, I'm sorry, megapixel. Let's check this one out. Battery compartment is clean. I just got two of these old ones in there. It uses the uh, XD cards. Um, if I find an XD card and it's like two gigs, I could just sell that card alone for like almost $35, $40. So uh, if you find an XD card that's like the higher, higher, like, uh, gigs like two gigs you could sell that for quite a bit but this is uh i've got two sitting over there that were broken they were i think they're s where are they yeah i think it's the same one but they're in, they're in black and both of them are broken they were broken uh the something's going on with the sensor so there was it was just total black image uh or something was locked up in there and the other one that would looked all uh image look uh, not the image, but the, on the screen it looked all wavy, and uh, I'm just going to list those for parts. But hopefully this one's working. If it's working, I can only get like $23 for this, probably. Uh, but I don't know. It's a silver color, so maybe a couple of dollars more. All right. Uh, I don't know what we at, we're at. It. There's a total here, but I've already made my money back and got a little bit more. Luminix Panasonic uh, F. FZ5, and we've got another another bridge camera here, and we're going to open this up and see what's in here. We've got a battery, so I'm, I'm probably I have a bunch of chargers in the back, so in my storage room, so I might have a charger for this. Um, if I get the, we'll see. Anyway, if it's working, how many megapixels is this? This one's an older one, I can tell. Uh, it's probably worth. $23 or something like that so like I said again if you're interested in any of this stuff just check out my eBay store it's in the link below and this is the last bag I think yeah a bunch of point and shoots we've got um, another easy share that is all messed up it might still work or maybe not this one doesn't look very promising so i'm just going to call this one it's probably not working but i'll test it out might be able to get it going uh fuji film 14 megapixels so this one's a newer kind of newer one uh, another bridge camera uh super zoom so these bridge cameras like this that uh, will have a like a longer zoom than you would with the, the basic port and, uh, point and shoots um a tip if you well i'll show you on a different one but uh, let's see here. Oh. Yeah, battery compartment looks clean. No, no SD card in there. This is the uh, S2950. I'm guessing this one's closer to $50 or $40. I'm closer to $40, not $50, but it's 14 megapixels. So we're going up there in megapixels. For some reason, the, uh, you know, these bridge cameras take longer to sell than the point and shoots it does have a panorama fe feature which is kind of cool but uh i don't know why because these are a little bit better cameras i guess somebody's just looking for a smaller one and more compact but uh they still do sell this is the same as the other one right now oh this one's a 16 megapixel it's all jacked up there on the I have to clean that off. It looks it doesn't look scratched. It just looks 
Uh, a Fuji, Fuji Fine Picks S. What is the model number? S. 4850. So this one's probably around 50 bucks as well if it's all working and stuff. 40, 50 bucks. Let's see if we could. Yeah, battery compartment's clean. So there we have it. Um, I don't. I didn't add all that up, but my guess when I bought this, I, like I said, it was 230 shipped. I was expecting to get something close to to 500, especially if this this one was a lens. So I think we're in uh, at least 400 here. Um, so after I test it all, I'll have it listed. And thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next video. And hopefully the sun comes out and I can do one of those M42 mount videos on my Pentax KF. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you hadn't. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks.